Hello, how y'all doing? God bless you, God bless you. How you doing, Facebook family? Praise God. It is raining here in Mississippi. I'm talking about that that dry, I mean, that cold, dry weather. Ooh, make you want to just, um, well, fireplace time. And we do have one. Hey. But um, God bless everybody. Um, but basically, I was reading some of the comments of the post that I had actually posted. I wanted you to know, all is well with me. I'm just a direct person, but I also wanted to be transparent because one thing about it, you always see me on there, you know, telling what thus said the Lord in a hard stance and a strong stance. But I also want you to know that also I, I, I will display where I'm human as well. And one thing I don't do, I take God very seriously. This is not a Facebook thing. This is my life. And so... Um, just to just to be very transparent, I've been hit hard lately. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm talking about that in the bench, and I understand why because of the call of my life. So th th this is not new to me. Come on, somebody, because I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And um, last this morning, it was it was that was a hard lick. That that was that was in the core of my all being. I'm talking about you know when you, you don't see that one coming. But God was warning me because me and God was talking and he said something. But, you know, I kind of like just I, I, I didn't really go. I didn't really ask the questions because when God is trying to show you something, you're supposed to ask questions. And I was so busy doing other things, packing and stuff. And I was like, you know, I kind of like just ignored it. And then when it came back around four o'clock in the morning, I say, wow, God, you was trying to tell me because you was trying to soften the blow. So I am OK. All is well, because here's the deal. I don't let anything become come between me and my God. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care who the mother, father, brother, sister, cousin, ain't. it don't even matter. But the enemy, the enemy is slick. He don't use people on the outside. He always use the close cuts. And that's what I tell y'all all the time. So how can I not practice what I preach, right? So I'm just letting them know. Um, and I ain't going to take too much of them little close cuts. You know, I love you. Yes, I love you. But no, no, because the enemy will use anybody. And you have to understand we're in a, we really in a critical time here. I don't think people really know because everybody, you see, let me tell you how the enemy got everybody going. Everybody thinking about Christmas right now and what they're going to get. And, and you know, y'all thinking about all that stuff. I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's not where God helped me. I don't, I'm not even thinking about no Christmas. Number one, I do not celebrate that pagan holiday because guess what? All it does is debt and stress and I don't need neither two. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I'm focusing on where is this enemy getting ready to come from? Where is he getting ready to hit the body of Christ? Because I feel it and I'm not kidding. And God's been telling me, Deanna, prepare. Deanna, prepare. I've barely been eating because I've been fasting. Of course, we're on a Daniel fast. This is the fifth day. Praise God. I hope you, hope you stay strong on it. But I've been, I'm talking about eating maybe, maybe one meal a day. I'm not kidding because I'm like, uh-uh, I, I gotta stay, I gotta stay on alert, because I'm serious about this thing, uh-uh, uh-uh, God has been too good to us, come on somebody, hallelujah, so all I'm doing is just, I I'm tightening the fences, come on somebody, what's tightening the fences, well, okay, this is what you're supposed to have when you are a strong child of God, and when you have a calling on your life, you have, you have a fence around you, and, and, and it's like a, a brick fence, and you have to check from time to time if you have any cracks or crevices or openings, and all I'm doing is just <laughs> tightening up the fence, come on somebody, write it in the comments, I'm just tightening up the fence, and it don't matter who outside the fence, I love you, but you're not, you're not about to come in and disturb who I am as Apostle Deanna Dixon, because guess what, I think we got it all backwards, yes, God says love everybody, but he says also this, Matthew 6, 33, he says, first, this kingdom of God, so I don't care who you are, you will not disturb that because I have a calling and I have a destiny. And guess what? It's not just about them. It's about everybody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I have a high calling on my life. I, I know the price. And so, and, and trust me, God lets me know. You can't let that get in the way. You can't let that get in the way. You can't let, I, and I'll cut anybody off. I, I, tr try me. Oh, yes, I, I still love you. I love you, boo-boo, sugar, bloom, bloom. I sure do. But um, so I don't want y'all to, you know, because some of y'all, y'all so sensitive. Y'all be like, oh, my God, oh, apostle. I'm okay. I am too strong. Oh, I'm so strong in the Lord. And, and not not of my own. Let's see. I'm, oh, my daddy got me. And I want to tell y'all, though. I want to tell y'all this really happened. Oh, my God. Yes, I really, I broke down. I broke down. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I ain't going to lie. I broke down by 4 o'clock this morning. I was going to take a shower because I had prayed all night and I was doing some stuff and I was doing some research. And I, I, I just, I just, you know, I sat down and it all hit me what people was trying to, you know, the things that they did. And I was like, wow. That, it was cold. It was cold. I don't think it should happen to anybody, but it was okay. I, and I understand why they do what they do. So, but it hit me. And I, I was, you, you ever been to where you was crying so 
much that you can't see. I mean, I couldn't see. I couldn't see. I, I got my head down. I'm crying because I'm like, God, I love them. Why did they do this? But, but nevertheless, I promise before God, I'm not lying. I saw the hand of God come in that room. And he did like this. He lifted my head. And I started crying most. So I said, oh, you love me. You love me. I don't care who don't love me. You love me. I'm not kidding. I, I know I know I'm dramatic, but I'm telling the truth. Hallelujah. And I'm not kidding. And then I saw the angels in the bathroom. I've been seeing angels since 1996. I ain't lying since I was 27. And so it's like, I know as a human person, we want to be loved. We want to be liked, especially by our family. But you guys, God loves me. Oh, uh, y'all don't hear me. God loves me. And... And I have people who love me. Don't, don't, don't think I don't. God has sent some people, but it's a strange things that happen with for friends and family. And, and it is what it is. You know what you do. You don't even stay mad. You, you bless them. I, I, this is what you really do. You pray and release. God bless y'all. I love you. But I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got a destiny to go through. I got a calling to go to. So on that note, I'm just being, you know, and it was so ironic because I wasn't going to do a go live today. I was going to just kind of like chill. But God said, no, you're always getting up there being strong. Let the people know who you really are, that you are a leader. And sometimes you have your moments. And I'm going to be real with you. At 4 o'clock this morning, y'all should have saw me. I, I, I was like, oh, my God. But it's all this world, though. All this world. That's what it's all about, right? Being real. Because um, where we at, people better stop playing and being fake. Because this stuff about to get real, real, tell you the truth. Oh, when it get real, you're going to see a change. Watch. You're going to see you're gonna see people start being real. And, and it's all going to start opening. Y'all going to say, my apostle said that. So I'm almost to my destination in this rain. So I love you guys. I thank you for the ones that care and always are encouraging work. Because we need that. You know, leaders don't want to say that. Because leaders be acting like, we're always strong. That's not true. That's not true. That's why we know we need God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I just want you to know also... I thank you for the encouragement. I thank you for those kind words. I thank you for, you know, keeping me in prayer. Those that care and, and, and those that just silently care. I appreciate you. Because believe it or not, we all need each other. Ain't nobody superhero. Trust me, they try to be. But the only one is the Lord thy God. So on that note, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I love you. Roll out, soldier. God bless you. And have a blessed day. And make it a blessed day. In Jesus' name.